Waits a dummy half and will take it himself. Went straight between them. He's got support as well. He runs to Burt. He draws him and keeps going. And Robbie Farah will go all the way and score 40 seconds after the kickoff for the Tigers. What a way to get things going on Super Saturday. Oh, Robbie Farah gets his chance in the run on squad. He's been coming off the interchange bench. And this is the player that the Tigers have been quite excited about for a number of seasons. Suffered a knee injury last year. Got his opportunity back in the starting side. 28 out from the Parramatta line. Here's Farrow running a long way. As he did to score in the first half. In the first minute, in fact. And here he is getting across. Way now, Farrow featured going to the short side. A grubber into the end goal for Paul Fandelera. He comes up with it and plants it down for a try and the Tigers will play from in front here in Newcastle today. They lead 4 nothing. Yeah, smart play by the West Tigers, Robbie Farrar. We mentioned Jared Mullen having a left foot kicking game. Freak comes to his left hand side. Prince to Farrar on the last. He knew where to go. He grabs the third try of his young career. The Tigers get their third of the afternoon. And as it turned out, the fullback was an easy target. They'll come to the blind side again. Farrah, grabber in, chasing through, was Paul Fadalera. Metres away from the line, they go a short side play again. I think they might have done it. Metres out, Farrah. Do you like what you see when you see him? I'll tell you what, he's very good. There's the ball inside for Fulton. Well, there's not much wrong with Fulton. Hasn't got a headache, and hasn't Farrah got some talent? Oh, that was brilliant by the dummy half. Ellis is wider to the right. They go from dummy half and they're over. Sorry. Going himself and going easily. He's going to even up, so it's important. Here Farrah. we see Farrah's oh. got his second. A double for Robbie Farrah and it was easy. A bit of push and shove from the marker area and that opens up for Robbie Farrah. Who collects a hat trick here on home ground? Only just by Shafosky. Farah from dummy half gets across the line. Tony Archer says he got there, and it's a try for the Tigers. And now they do have the lead. Robbie Farah. They know he's going to go, but sometimes it's impossible to stop him. Well, it was a good play. The ball he gets down low. Is Marshall going to them, kicking over the top for Farah. Good hit. He runs in behind Marshall. There's no pressure for Burt. Farrow chased his own kick and will make the tackle on Luke. Burt now turns him around. The act. Well done, boys. You've got to train him well and you've got to pay. Here goes Farrow. Now where's the support this time? He's inside the 30. Support was there. PJ Mark. Within a couple of metres and here goes Farrow. He gets it over the line. Foul Marina went right. Farrow spotted the opportunity. He's a good little footballer. At Campbelltown, Farrah's left foot kick. This is good off the boot from Robbie Farrah. It's going to run. It's a 40 20 from Robbie Farrah. Quarter of the game to going. Options either side. Dummies twice. Takes it to the line. Robbie Farrah scoots through. And basically cut out a few of the errors. Well, hang on a second. Here goes Farrah for the Tigers. A dummy. Robbie Farrah, five minutes out from the line. They nail it. Here he goes up the middle of the field, Farrah. Looks certain to score. Dummy, ran, stepped his way into a little bit of defence. Falls over the top of Luke Walsh, who was on the deck. Then Gibbs inside. Oh, great skill, Bryce Gibbs, quick hands. Taking it to the left with good vision and turned it back inside. And Nathan Hitton, the only man there on his own line. He's going to try the short kick. It came off the leg there of Tola. Then Farrah kicks it over the top. He's okay. Now Farah decides to utilise the chip, gets the bounce, Farah! Then gets it away to Lawrence. Fadawira is on his outside, he won't need him. Farah finished off last week with a chip and some one. Farah looked the cleanest to get to the football and did. And then had a choice of three on the outside and found Lawrence. Well, that's just desire. You know, as you say, four white shirts. It is own covered and then they go to sleep. They go to sleep on Robbie Farrah. And that's a 
a lack of attention to detail because the main focus for the Broncos coming into this game would have been Robbie Farrer. Trying to convert his own try on the Eastern touchline here at Suncorp. He struck it pretty well. It's got the legs and it's over. Is there anything we cannot do? He can do everything, this kid. He is a tremendous player, Robbie Farrer. He's got all the skills. We talk about his passing game. We talk about his ability to kick the football. It's his, first goal, his, goal <laughs> it's his first goal of the year. Over the tail of the defender. Farrow with the kick. And Lawrence, he scored on debut here in 2006. He scored in 2007. They've got the depth to cope. as Farrow again from acting half. But the Tigers all think, OK, well... well I also like the way that Shane Hayne, he knew it could have been on. Robbie Farrow going for a... A kick. Grubber, oh, not a grubber kick, a kick to find touch from a 20 restart. He earns his side an optional tap here, or a scrum, I should say, 35 nice metres out. The smart thinking by Robbie Farrah. So Robbie Farrah, another tough one. Robbie Farrah has nailed it. <laughs> Robbie Farrah, he likes it. Tigers fans, get up on your feet, 32 to 20. Left in this at of six, Farrah, a grabber. They have And fullback, of course, that right knee is a worry for them now. Farrah grabbing in behind them. Oh, a swing and a miss. He came up with the ball once again. Gave it to Marshall. Here's a chance. Tio gives it back to Benji. Now a grubber once again. Matt Bowen is there and he saves the day. Take a lot on him. Here's Farrah taking a stronger hand on the time. Grabbing looking for another try coming up though with a goal line dropout. Of course, we know started his career for the Tigers on the wing. There's a tackle. Strong run once again, here's Farrah from Dummy Half, looking for the line, and he found it as well. Oh, that caps off a super game from a super player. Robbie Farrah is back at nine, Benji Marshall's in the seven, Laurie Nichols might say we've got a seven from heaven, and our nine is just fine. Well, Robbie Farrah, his best position, Tigers are a lot better team when he plays in that role. He's been helping the club out by playing as a seven. But when he's in that nine jersey, he's just a constant threat. He just keeps you guessing. He'll pass, he'll run, he'll kick. And he'll spin out of tackles and score tries. Farrah from the halfway line. His kick will go down to Matt Bowen. Still almost... Just over 11 minutes remaining here. Oh, Mento spills the ball in a heavy tackle. They came from everywhere to get to him. If they were by some chance to miss the top eight, then you send him in straight away. Farrah's got them going again. Fulton links up with him. Here's Fitz Henry looking for another one. Matt Bowen chasing. 40 out from their own line as opposed to working it perhaps off their own dead ball line. Now Farrah's showing it. Pouring into a hole. He beat Bailey's attempt. He goes wide. Collis is there. The ball hits the deck, though. It goes to... Andy's was four. I, I think the Tigers played it well. Well, I think he's saying again, the ball from Fitzhenry back on the inside for Collis was forward. On the northern end of the ground as Galea spirals it away through Marshall to Morris. He puts a little kick in. Oh, it was Farrell onside. He's put the ball over the line and claimed the try. But was he behind the kicker? Quick play the balls. Yeah. Going from dummy half. He gets away from them. He's got Hodgson with him. Draws and passes. Hodgson for the line. The Tigers have tied the game up. Last play. Tigers. Farrah. Got the kick through. It's there for Morris. Forward. He's in everything at the moment. Farrah. Big dummy. Big step. And away he goes. Robbie Farrah. Dally M. Hooker of the Year last year. Never read the situation and let Farrah go straight up the middle. One of the things teams talk about with their marker defence is not to keep engaging with the dummy half. By that they mean when the dummy half jumps out, don't let him draw you so that they can put someone in behind you. There was three sets of pressure from the Tigers, back to back to back sets, and they were really struggling in the middle. Farrah throws the dummy, goes himself. Did he get down? He did. Well, didn't they fall for that? He's... Farrah looking left and coming left out of dummy half. Not much going on. He'll go himself. Robbie Farrah has 
simple as you like. From the danger signs have got to be up. Robbie Farah out of dummy half. You've got to know he's going to run the ball. Again, Farah from inside the 40. The kick it for a 40-20. It will scoot off the grass towards the sideline and make it as well. Robbie Farah. It's important the Tigers don't. Here's Farah into space. He's got Peyton on his right. He goes to the left. Hyington. Now it's a foot race. Here comes Hasm. He won't catch him. And the Tigers have gone back to back. A danger in this situation as ever. And he scores immediate points. He steps left, then loses the ball into the hands of Robbie Farrar. On his inside is John Morris. A little bit of push and shove as Farrar got the legs. He'll grab her ahead. That is smart footing. Farrar inside the 40, looking for the big one, and he finds it. Played by Marshall. Farrar a dummy, and he goes forward. I think he got it. Way. St. George Illawarra home and Cronulla away as they pull the final curtains yeah. down. 40-20 just to ice the game from Robbie Farrah. The forwards though, lifting his weight as Farrah gets up. Jennings would have been square and It doesn't matter for Farrah. He gets in behind them. Harrod, he comes away to Hanbury. Lovely work by Robbie Farrah. He was in to make the tackle on him and also Cooper. The pairs by the foot of his forward as Farrah. Show that the Tigers become much more potent in the second half. Ah, 40, you know, that was a 40 20. Yeah, great kick there from Robbie Farrar. Inches from the ground, Farrar, barge over. All against South Sydney in 69. They're doing that on Tuesday night. Here's Farrar again. And away goes the ball. And it's away with Farrar, of course. The ball and back to Hanbury. Cross to Benji Marshall. Secures the Tigers victory. He's swinging to the ground as the full of hell chain. Now Farrah down the blind side once again. He wants support. He had Lawrence, but he couldn't find him. It's Farrah with a drop goal from right in front. And he's got it. The extra point. So right on half time. Robbie Farrah here. Bang! Gets up out of the line, trying to inspire his team. The important tackles. He's everywhere. Straight through Farrah, where's Tuiaki, here he comes, the big fella's got it now, they won't catch him. Taniela Tuiaki heads for 19 tries for the season, and the big Tigers winger has blown the game open for the West Tigers. Some of the skills he showed in the Toyota Cup, and speaking of skills, here's Kevin Gordon, Farrah to beat, he goes the in and away, and has taken into touch, terrific rugby league. Fulton goes wide, let's get out of this corner, he says. They do that, they've gone across the park. Brown sprints down the right side. Inside ball for Mulchin. The ball has finished up with Farrah. He's out of another, he's got 20 to go. You can put down the glasses, the captain. He has scored a 100 metre try on the back of four or five passes. Bo Ryan's pass, it's Farrah taking the shot, Farrah. Shane Hayne likes it, he looks around and it's a point to the West Tigers. Initially, it's on for the Tigers, field goal time, and it's good, Robbie Farrar. Meters inside his own 20. Here's Farrar showing it and going straight past everybody. He runs to Coop and went past him as well. He gets the ball away to Takiri, who picked it up off his bootlaces. But Robbie Farrah, the speed he went through that hole and then out and around Lachlan Cootie was in the open spaces. He's looking for his men, Lottie Dekiri. In the middle by Gordon, here's a chance for Robbie Farrah. And Farrah goes all the way. The 30. If you lose Raiders players, not the status at the moment. Farrah, he was propelled through the gap. Now he'll take on Mill. Look at Robbie Farrah go. Farrah, chased by Mill. That is tackled half a minute short for the big man. Fatter then, puts a kick across, he's gone down, he's picked up Mitch Brown, Brown for the corner, Mitch Brown has scored, the former Sharks 
to Titans that have been under siege for this opening 15 minutes of the second half. And they've managed to keep the Tigers at bay. Yeah, they sure are, Gus. I'm just going to say there's a little bit of niggle starting to come into the game as well. Yeah. Just a couple of these tackles. And Robbie Farrah, he's the man in it. Just have a look at that little late tackle that he seemed to receive. I'll chase the bloke that got it. Oh, who is it? Oh, just Here we go, go, folks. The scrum erupts. Well, there's no love in this scrum, baby. Look at this. Lefts and rights. Where do you look? What's he going to do? Well, penalty will take the scrum. Look at this. Have a little bit of a verbal. You've jumped over the top. The opponent's bare. You can see where the first one was thrown. Here it comes. Hang on to this one. Yeah, there we go. Robbie Farrah threw the first one. Robbie Farrah threw the first one. And folks, we can't get you any closer. If you're in there, you're any closer, you'd have to throw a punch. Robbie. Three minutes. Farrah. Tigers lead. Can't get into space. Fallen to Farah and Farah inside the 40. Oh, it's going yes. down towards the line. He finds it. Farah. Go. Farah out of that. He had his little ball down. That's a try. Robbie Farah scores a try. Ryan Hoffman. Hoffman's knocked it off. Marshall's picked up. In fact, it's Farah. He's got Benji with him. Farah's racing away. Benji Marshall, can he link with him? Here goes Benji! They race Marshall for the corner! He gets a hat-trick and the West Tigers win! Someone. Here we go, we're in the scrum. There's a punch. Oh. Well, that, what? that there... Oh, oh on a second. That there... Scared? That there is a big problem. I'll come back to the Marshall try in a minute. But I haven't seen a punch like that in a scrum since Les Davidson knocked the headgear off Peter Kelly. In the old days at Leichhardt over, when you're packed into the scrum after the previous Hello, scrum. Gus, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. <laughs> One the clock back. Here we go. At Leichhardt over on a Sunday afternoon and Farrah's getting his get square on Anthony Watts. Watts is on the canvas. Watts is on the canvas and Farrah was still throwing them, I think you'll find. That's the Leichhardt over. That's the get square. Gave you a tip at the start. You get it in and out. Yeah, right? you'd, you'd been cautioned once before yeah. down there, okay? And the scrums come up and blown up, okay? So both had a go at each other. You can go and sit out for ten. Right? You go. Well, there you go. There's one. Where one goes, the other will follow. In the old days, I'm trying to think it was Benny Elias and Mark Bugden had a little go in the tail here after they were simbing when they used to put them off the field at the same time. I understand you may have popped something down there. I told you here at the scrum not to start it. Not to start it. He's both come up throwing punches. Okay, you can go and sit down for 10 too. Right? So there goes the Tigers captain. Which way does the penalty go? go? Then, your penalty. Tigers get the penalty. Well, uh, that's interesting. Well, that's the penalty they should have got at the other end of the field. And that's the Leichhardt effect. Is set to provide a kick, one would think. Here he is, Marshall. Don't, don't worry about that. Got the pass away. Now Farah. He puts the kick in. Robbie Farah has scored. No man will enjoy a play more than that today. And Robbie Farah, who was almost off senseless in the first half. 32 to 14. And me thinks he might try and find Mr. Watts. In the end, the score line will be well and truly in their favour. But I think Tim Shearns would be particularly upset with the opening 25 minutes of this second half where they could have played better and smarter football and made it easier for themselves. Black and gold never fold. There he is, a real tiger. The crowd loved that.